and just go live. Okay. I think we are going live. Today is Thursday. Hi, friends. Is anybody out there? Good morning. I hope you're having a great morning so far. <laughs> Mine has been super crazy. <laughs> Um, but I'm glad to be here. I'm Lindsay for So Fancy, and um, it's a special Throwback Thursday today. So the one day out of the month where we bring a popular bundle out of retirement, so you get that chance to get um, to grab those that bundle again. And this is the Wine Lovers Bundle. Um, so um, I think over. Um, let me see how many designs there are. 45 wine inspired designs. So that means um, each of the designs are like 25 cents each, which is a killer deal. <laughs> and I'm going to be um, making a project today using one of the designs. So um, before we get started, if you can just say hey and hi, um, just let me know that you can hear me and that you can see me and that, that it's perfect, then um, that would be good. Um, and then we'll go ahead and get started. So I'm going to be decorating these wine stopper, wine stoppers. Um, I think they're just acrylic and you put them in the top of a bottle like that. Um, so there's lots of designs that you could put on here um, from the bundle, um, but it's really small. So I'm going to be using printable vinyl and I'm going to show you a little trick that um, I've done before that allows you to print on your scrap printable vinyl so you don't have to use a whole sheet and we're going to be doing a print and cut with um, the silhouette. Um, hello Paula, thank you so much for joining me. I'm glad you're here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and um, turn the camera down onto my work desk and then we will get started. So hold on for a wild ride here and if any of you are looking like what the heck is that thing this is the cameo 3 so <laughs> um i was of course going to use my cameo 4 uh but for some reason it's just not working with print and cut and <laughs> i don't drink you guys but if i did then print and cut would be the reason why because you know if you've ever used print and cut it can sometimes make you want to just like tear your hair out but it did work um, so if it doesn't work on camera, I have one <laughs> ready to go. We're going to be putting the printable vinyl on this little wine stopper. So uh, what I like to do with printable vinyl is I like to keep it in um, a store, you know, a, a container like this. Um, and I have the full sheets in here. Um, so you could certainly print on a full sheet. And I have these linked in the description. Um, so that's the uh, actual printable vinyl itself. But then there's also, um, you know, you're printing with an inkjet printer. So if you were to get it wet, the what you printed on there, it would just smear off because inkjet isn't uh, permanent. So there are these laminating sheets that you place over the design to make them waterproof. Um, and um, UV protected too, so the design wouldn't fade. So um, here is a sheet, and you could certainly print on the full sheet, but if you're only, I'm only going to do, I think I'm going to just do six of these, one for the front and one for the back. And since I'm doing print and cut, um, I have to, you do the registration marks. So I'd really not like to have to use this whole sheet to, um, do the registration marks and print on it. So I'm going to show you a way that you don't have to. So um, let's go ahead and go into Silhouette Studio. Um, now, of course, I just want to mention um, if, you, if you have a uh, Cricut or if you have a Scan and Cut or Graph Tech or you know any other um, cutting machine or just the printer, then you can still use the designs in this bundle too. So I am just using Silhouette Studio and um, my Cameo. Um, but you can certainly use other machines as well. So let's go ahead and here we go. All right, so actually let's start with a fresh screen because what I'm gonna do is actually import the design. So file, merge, wine o'clock. 
So this is the design that I'm using. And it's just, it's so cute, I love it. And I wanted to put it on the top of those wine stoppers, but cutting this out of vinyl would probably be a nightmare because the stopper itself is like that big. <laughs> so then this design has to be sized way, 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 way down to be able to fit in there. So what I did is I sized it to fit in there and then I decided that I was going to print it on a black circle. Oops, and then the design I wanted to be white. There we go. All right, so that's what I wanted it to print like. And so I actually have a, a page already set up here. And right now I am going to just print it like this. And I purposely put the three in the middle of the sheet. Um, because later when we go to print the registration marks, I don't, I want these out of the way. So, um, right now I'm just going to go ahead and print this on my, in a draft mode. And, oh, and another thing to point out is I also have, um, I have print bleed on. So the edges are going to, um, print, uh, bleed out a little bit and, um, then I'll get a nice clean black edge with no white around it. So um, print bleed is turned on. So I'm gonna go to print, but this time I'm just printing with my cheap laser printer in, um, so it'll just be like a super, you know, faded, oops, let's go to here. Super faded um, design, but that's totally okay because that's, that's what I want for right now. Oh, hi, Donna. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> Alrighty, so um, we've just done the first step of printing out this wine o'clock design from the Wine Lovers Bundle, um, our 24-hour deal for Throwback Thursday. Um, so now what we wanna do is I wanna cut a piece of this printable vinyl to just cover up this part right here. So I, you can use your scissors. Oops. Um, I like to use my paper trimmer. So I'm gonna use that and just trim it. And I trimmed it to like three inches. And these um, are an eight and a half by 11 inch sheet. And I think I want to trim just this edge off too. So it's a little bit shorter. Hopefully you can kind of see that a little bit. So I just printed a strip big enough to entirely cover the design with a little bit of margin um, on the top and the bottom. In fact, if I turn it around too, you can see um, that the printable vinyl covers that. And so then what you wanna do is then just take some low tack tape like um, this is just washi tape and I'm gonna tape it on the top and the bottom just so it'll stay put because I'm actually gonna send it through my printer again this time of course though it'll print on the printable vinyl all right, so that is nice and held down. That's what you want. Okay. And then I'm gonna go back into Silhouette Studio. So let's go back over to there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on the registration marks. So um, just here in the page setup panel, under the registration marks tab, um, you just turn those on. And then this time I'm gonna take that paper so this one and i'm going to put it into my nice printer my nice inkjet printer and i'm going to print it on the nice uh you know good settings so let's go ahead and do that Okay, so then um, I have the registration marks turn on. I'm gonna go to file, print. There it is with the registration marks, print. 
Um, I'm going to do my nice printer and print it. And then that will get going. And when I say my nice printer, I'm a, it's off camera here. It was actually the cheapest inkjet printer I could find. <laughs> so it's just a Canon Pixma. Um, and it just seems to work really well. Uh, it's not like fancy or anything. Just a regular inkjet printer. But then there you go. It's printed. Now the, uh, remember the, the sheet before had that draft copy. Now the print the printed design is on the actual printable vinyl and the um, registration marks. So now what I'm going to do is um, it's easier if you put the laminating sheet on before you cut it. So if I were to cut out this circle now from the vinyl, um, I'd have to then cut the laminate sheet into a little tiny circle and then try to place it on there. Um, which is just hard to do so um, again I just take I keep all the scraps of the laminate and the printable vinyl vinyl in here and then I can just place the vinyl or the printable sorry I can place this UV laminating sheet over over this design and it's a lot easier to do uh, this before it's cut and then this is also why I placed the design so low if I had placed it too too high then obviously you don't want to have anything interfere with the registration mark so that's why I placed the design right there so you just peel back the backing of this laminate sheet um, and then place it on the edge here. And then I use my, uh, so I have a little bit of the edge already placed down and then I use my scraper just to scrape the rest across so I can get it down nice and firm like that. And if you burnish it really, really well, then the laminate really just disappears and you don't even really see it. It just looks like a regular, um, vinyl, you know, glossy vinyl. Okay, so then I have the laminate over there. And now I'm going to print and cut. Well, I've already printed, now it's time to cut. And if you're just joining us, um, this design comes from the Throwback Thursday special 24 hour deal, the Wine Lovers Bundle. So you can pick that up um, until 11.59. PM Eastern time and then it goes back into retirement so um, if you've got like a maybe some last-minute gifts to to whip up and you've got like a wine lover in your family or your circle of friends then there's definitely some cute little things that you can make wine bags t-shirts I'm doing um, these wine stoppers and putting the laminate on or putting the printable vinyl on there All right, so I'm just going to place this now onto my mat. And I'm using the Cameo 3 just because my Cameo 4 is just not, not feeling it today. I get it. <laughs> she wanted a day off, so I'm using the, the 3. But normally I would use the 4. Um, so anyway, I'm going to load, load that in. And then I'm going to go to my cut settings, which I have already uh, set up here. So this vinyl printable is a setting that I already, um, it's a custom setting, um, which is a blade of six, a force of 16, a speed of eight, and two passes. Um, and I'll link to a, in the description, I'll link to um, a tutorial that shows you all these cut settings and everything and all, all these steps. So I'm just going to go to send and then let's go back to there. I am really hoping that I don't have any issues this time. I didn't before. 
So hopefully not this time. <laughs> and of course, if you have any questions or anything, then please um, let us know because we're always happy to, um, to answer your questions. So that's just doing its thing. Cutting out this um, wine o'clock design on the printable vinyl that we've already laminated. And the design comes from the Wine Lovers Bundle, our special for Throwback Thursday. Okay, so there it is. I'm going to unload it and then we can push this away. And then I'm just gonna take this off and then take off the printable vinyl. Oops. There we go. And then um, I'm just gonna kind of trim around the edge a little bit. Okay, and then just like regular vinyl, you're gonna weed away the excess. And so I just do that by lifting up the backing here and then you can just pull away the excess. And then what you're left with are your, they look like stickers, um, but it's vinyl, so it's a decal. Um, sorry, the camera is not focusing very well, I'm sorry. Um, but it says wine o'clock. <laughs> um, but anyway, this is what I meant by print bleed. So when you turn the print bleed on, um, it actually prints larger than the actual design itself, but the cut lines stay the same. So then um, you get that night, there's no like white edge around it. So there is that. So now um, just like regular vinyl, then you take your transfer tape and actually let's cut these apart and take some transfer tape and transfer it off the backing these are so, don't need a very big piece of transfer tape for these oops okay so then you just transfer it off And those cut settings actually kind of almost cut through the vinyl, so, or through the backing. So maybe it, it was just a little bit too much. Yeah, so that's okay. There we go. Peel off the vinyl backing. And then we're gonna take our little wine bottle stopper and try and line it up. <laughs> try and line it up. And I think maybe what I'll do is I'll put um, half of the backing back on. Oops, so I can line up the top. first and then I can see if that's really where I want it. And that's probably pretty good. So I'm gonna peel off that and then, oops. It's a little bit low, but that's okay. But then just like, you know, regular Vinyl, you'd peel back the transfer tape. And so then there, <laughs> there's that side. And then I'm gonna do another one on the other side too. So I'm gonna use the same piece of transfer tape. Peel it up, peel the backing off. Maybe I'll try peeling up. No, it's not gonna stick. Okay. 
So it cut through all the way to the backing, which is not what I wanted, but that's okay. At least it cut through. I can always um, use a little X-Acto knife or something to peel off this backing here. Ay, ay, ay. Here, I'll use an exacto knife. There we go. See, and then that just peels right up. And then I'm going to do the other side. This time I'm going to place the design a little bit higher. Oh, yeah, that looks a lot better. It's a little off center. <laughs> so obviously you would, you know, be able to do that much, much better. In fact, I'm actually gonna peel it up and replace it. There we go. That's what I wanted. <laughs> and then there it is. There's that um, wine bottle stopper. Uh, and there's the other side. Just did the same design on the other side with printable vinyl using our scraps. So we didn't even have to use a whole sheet to make just one of these, but I um, printed out enough to do all three. And there's lots of other designs from the Wine Lovers Bundle too. So um, I've linked to that in the description so you can take it out. And then <laughs> there it is, that little stopper. That's so cute. <laughs> all right, so that is all I had. Um, and I'm going to turn the camera back around. Oh, hi, Sabrina. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Um, we just made these wine bottle stoppers, or we use printable vinyl on um, with some UV laminate over it. So this is nice and protected in case, um, you know, people are going to be touching this and um, it might get wet, but now it's protected with the that UV laminate, and um, I think it turned out pretty cute. So <laughs> that's just one thing that you can do with this special Throwback Thursday bundle. Um, so definitely go ahead and check it out because it's a limited time just for today only. And um, then that's the project I had today. Um, if you have any questions, then please, you know, let us know. Um, we're always happy to help. And um, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks, friends. Bye. <laughs>